another chair? Is that in the budget? <laughs> well, let me check. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to another edition of Don't Tell Me to Shut Up, where I am sitting in a creaky chair. It's a lot like, I guess, as as men would say, a nagging female. Uh, yeah. That shit makes me so mad when I hear that, but I don't, I don't even want to talk about that kind of stuff. Uh, cheers, by the way. Salud. Salud. Mm. You can't say salud and not drink. Did you drink? Oh, shoot. That's bad luck. Salud, because we don't need any bad luck. We do not. You have rosé, by the way, and I have a nice Chardonnay. But there's a reason for that. Would you like to know what it is? I I do. Well, outside of the fact that I really don't like that (laughs) rosé. So I gave it to you. I knew there was a trick behind it. Ah, No, the real thing is I I don't like to drink rosé outside of the summer. Why? Well, because... It's one of those things where I want to look forward to it. So if I drink it during the winter, I'm not as happy as I am when I can drink my first glass of Whispering Angel. Mm, I like Whereas it. if I have it all winter, you know what I mean? Like it just kind of takes away, in my opinion, for me. Now, do you drink red wine in the winter? Um, I'm not a big red wine drinker. I do. I will have it sometimes, but it's not. It's something about hot wine. I don't want it. Well, you know, because it's you you don't chill it. Most red wines right. aren't chilled. You serve at room temperature. And so for me, I like the refreshing crispness of a white wine. I actually know people that put ice in the in their red wine. It's terrible. Don't do it. But don't do that. I actually know people. I mean, you can. Go. There's some wine that's that's served chilled that's red. I don't know what it is, and I really don't care. Is it but, a red blend? Mm-hmm. Anyway. I want to quickly talk about um, this whole situation with Chris Brown. Mm. It's really trending right now, hot and heavy. And I I generally, yeah, I'm checking Instagram. <laughs> I generally don't weigh in on uh, stuff like that because I feel like it's such a waste of time. Nobody really gives a shit about what you think. Right. Right. But I, I don't like the hypocrisy because... I, and and truth be told, I understand Chris Brown's frustration because he does have a point. And I am not saying that what he did was OK. He was 17 years old. Right. And, I mean, I get it. You could say, well, he was young, so it shouldn't matter. Um, but he's 50 now. Right. <laughs> We're not allowing him to live it down. He's he's apologized. Uh, Rihanna has accepted his apology. She's moved on. She got eight kids. Well, not eight, but you know, she got a whole family. They're living their best lives. And their we are friends. just, yeah, we're, and we're not allowing him to move on. It's like, we're trying to hold what he did in the past against him now. Yeah. I, I mean, I, I totally agree. And, and you know, one thing, and I, I don't know for sure, cause I wasn't there, but a lot of people made a good point in that we want to hold him accountable for what happened, but we don't mention her and 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 the fact that she also had a part in and you know she did. In, in and if, and life, listen, so. you can lie to yourself, but yeah. you can't lie to me, honey. Yeah. Let me tell you something. I've been in some relationships when I was younger. Ooh, ah, ooh, and it's been it's been heated. Yeah, so I mean, and I'm not gonna lie and say that I didn't swing. Now, yeah, I missed, but that's not what we're talking about. But the point is, I think in every relationship, I'm not saying that it has come to blows in every relationship, but I think you have situations where things get hot and a chick has pushed or mushed a dude in the head, you know, and didn't expect to come back. Right. I'm just saying. So the fact that none of us yeah. were in the car, yeah, none of us were there. So we really don't know if she you know, swung first. If he swung first, we know he swung because we saw the results of that. And again, I am not condoning that. Um, but I, I think he's, he's, you know, he's done his time on that. Right. No, I, I mean, I totally agree. And there's so many people, I'm like, well, he hit Karuchi. Karuchi has never said it. He's never said it. So, yeah, Kar- Karuchi, if, if he did, you let us know, right? Because right. I haven't heard you say a peep, right? right so so. I, I don't know. I do know that I can understand him being frustrated. He's a highly, highly talented young man. Um, And so dropping albums, doing tours and people not supporting and bringing up something that he did a gazillion years ago, as if to say he's still responsible for that. Not saying that he's not, but again, he's paid his dues. Meanwhile, we all tune in to this whole blue face Christian. I don't even know. I don't even know. I I see bits and pieces on social media, but I don't follow them because I don't think it's funny. I don't think it's cute. 
I, I just, I don't condone it, but I do find it really funny that they have millions of followers. People tune into their reality show. People follow them to see the train wreck, right. but then you want to hold Chris Brown accountable. And I can see how he would be frustrated and bring out and talk about the hypocrisy in that. And then I saw Blueface, Blue Smurf, I don't know what his name is. He <laughs> responded and basically was like, keep my name out your mouth. And I'm like, but it's true. I'm going to need you to have several seats. Right. And the fact that they actually profit off of this and they get opportunities that other people with actual talent don't get. And yes, I said that. Well, I can't say whether or not they have talent well, or not no, because he, I don't know what they actually do. Well, I feel like I feel like he's talented. What he, does he do? He, had a, he he was the, you know, that song, Bust It Down Tatiana. Or oh, I love that. So, Bust It Down. Th now I don't know all the words. So that's him. But I feel like his, I feel like, his 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 artistry got overshadowed by this situation. Okay, first of all, let's let's do one thing here really quickly. Now, listen, I gotta call it like I see it. We're not gonna call it artistry if you only have one record. Well, I'm saying like he. Let's but, find a but, new but let's find a new way to describe that because I think that is highly disrespectful okay. to people who have a nice body of work. Okay, that's okay? fair. Th that's fair. But what I'm saying is, I let me. I'll take that back. I'm saying he could. He's probably talented. Okay. He could probably but his potential. Have more yeah, he ha he probably has potential to have more records, but because people are so focused more on his on this relationship, this I hate this word, but it's true. This toxic, real toxic relationship that he has with this young lady, I think that it overshadowed what he could actually do. He could have more records than what I'm pretty sure. I don't well, know. Well, but my that, thing is I don't factual. know if he wants more records. Perhaps he's like, This is working right now. We got a lot of money coming in because people are watching and tuning in. And at the moment, this is paying the bill. So we're going to do more of this. I don't I really don't know. The only thing I know is I think it is highly it is the height of hypocrisy to tune in, to watch them beat each other down, applaud it. But then and they're they're currently doing these things. It's not like it's something that happened one time and it was in the past. This is something they are currently doing and capitalizing on what they're doing right, right. now. Whereas Chris Brown, this happened, this incident happened years ago. 17. And we don't know anything that has happened like that since. Yeah, so what? He smashed the window at Good Morning America. <laughs> <laughs> well, he didn't do Bust it down, anybody. Tatiana. He didn't do it to is anybody. Is it Tatiana? It to, Tatiana? Th yeah, th like a thought. Like a thought, yeah. Mm. I mean, it's weird, but... Oh, it's I mean, my age He did it to the window, not somebody. So Correct. Yeah, I mean, but it, is, it does show, you know, <laughs> anger. It's a display of anger, meaning that you can't control it. However, he's a whole different person now. Yeah, I mean, he has kids. Listen, let me he tell like you, too. You get in my truck any day of the week, I'm listening to Chris yeah. Brown or Usher. Yeah, I love me so much. Unless I'm in my feelings, and then I'm listening to Luther. And then he could he could be so much better. Uh, people are like, well, he's not suffering. I get that. But I feel like he's so talented. Excuse he me. He's bigger than what he already Excuse is. me. Pardon. Who is to say whether he is suffering or not? Now, unless we know uh, any deals that have been blown up, unless we're in his bank account, unless we are in his mind to find out what is going on with him mentally and emotionally in his heart, we don't really know that he, he's not, you know, suffering yeah. from it. We don't know that. Yeah. No. He could, why couldn't, how come they haven't asked him to perform at the Super Bowl? Right. I'll tell you why. Right. No, yeah. Right. How come he hasn't, you know, performed? How come his tour didn't do super well here in the United States? Right. I'll tell you why. I was waiting for it. I ain't so got to say it. I just twist my mouth up. <laughs> I'm going to stop doing that because it might so be So sad, man. It is sad. I, I we love you, Chrissy. I don't know who Chrissy is, but I like Chris Breezy. Chris Breezy. Brown. Chris Breezy. Yeah. I, I really do. I like him quite a bit. He is a talented guy. And, and you know, I thought about going to one of his little yard sales. Oh, let's considering go. it now nah, they shut him down because oh. apparently he had all these clothes that he was going to sell but then he owed the irs like millions of dollars oh. well let me let me stay off that because i don't want them coming and looking at me <laughs> well you know anyway cheers to chris to brown the closet <laughs> you know what i was pouring my drink and i wondered do, do people really care what they drink their their wine out of like would you be offended if somebody served you wine in a plastic cup well being that i am the sophisticated young lady that I am yes I would be offended I've seen you take a beer to the head I don't know what you talking about <laughs> but it's a beer you're it's trying to front for the camera stop it's, it it's different I've seen you drink out of a myriad of things it depends on the it depends where you're at like if you're in a like in a house party and you listen give me give me the wine in a red cup but if I'm in a restaurant 
with something. Yeah, I want, I want, you know, just give me the wine. Well, yeah, nobody's gonna serve you liquor in a plastic cup at a restaurant no, unless no. you're at, you know, <laughs> I don't know, Porky Pigs or something. I don't know. It's you never crazy. know. <laughs> mm. Do you care? I don't give a shit. No, I do. I'm a snob that way. I mean, I'm not going to call it snobbish, but I just, you know, I think it makes the drink taste better. I actually, you, you know what? Like I, like even when I'm with some family members and stuff and I see them drinking, <laughs> now that I've learned <laughs> and I'm better, I, I do just give them a side eye if I see them drinking. Like put your pinky wine, up. No, white wine in a, in like a. A, a goblet. Yeah. I'm like. Yeah, don't do that. Let's not do that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It, it does. It's a little cringy. Yeah. Once you, you know what? It. I'll tell you a funny story. I went on a date with this guy one time and he was like, can I have some Shibliss? <laughs> I was like, first of all, what restaurant are we at that they're serving that? Number two is not Shibliss. <laughs> Dare I say I know that it's Shibli. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't too far gone to see that. I'm just saying. My dog is having a whole panic attack. But Blue, what is wrong? Anyway. um. Yeah, so I, I I don't know. I'm just, you know. What's on your mind, girl? Nothing. I'm going to tell you the <laughs> truth. Ain't nothing on my mind. Just that whole Chris Brown thing, thing really had me pissed off. Because I feel, I feel I do feel bad for him. I mean, he's yeah. worked his entire career. You know, he made one mistake. Yeah, it was a big mistake. We all know that. Nobody is denying that. Not even himself. Mm -hmm. But the fact that he didn't hit me. He hit Rihanna. Right. And she has forgiven him. Mm -hmm. So I, I'm just in my mind, I'm like, I I don't understand why we're mad. I I don't get it either. He did his time. I mean, he didn't go to jail, did he? No. And stop saying Chris oh, Brown is on cocaine. He, he, he He's not on cocaine, service. is he? Oh, I don't know, but that's his business. Listen. If he wants a little cocaine, it is what it is. If he wants a little white powder. It is, and listen, I, I that's not my business. I, I all I know, that has nothing to do with him would you date him a dude who did cocaine i mean just a little every now and then um uh, if it's a little bit i don't care but if it's like a problem problem look at the druggie over here no i'm sorry <laughs> <laughs> people do so many stuff that they don't tell you about first of all it's not so many stuff but I, you know I, I was gonna say uh, uh, something else but people do a lot of things that we don't know. Like shit? Is that what you're going to yeah. say? You can say it. Your mama ain't here. You're fine. Yeah, right. I'm trying to be sophisticated. You can... Listen, watch this. Shit. <laughs> Look how sophisticated that was. Okay. Well, people... Put your lot... pinky up. It Look, makes people, you feel better. People do a lot of shit. You know? But um, behind closed doors. It is what it is. Yeah. But, but the reason I ask is because that wouldn't be behind closed doors. Because if you're dating him, it would be with you. Because you'd be with him behind closed doors. Otherwise, he'd be dating True. somebody else. True, but uh, listen, who am I? as long as it's not, as long as it's not like a addiction situation, I could. I don't think I could date somebody who's an addict or something. But if I'm just gonna keep it real with you. If you snoring cocaine, you could never date me. <laughs> not even a pinch. <laughs> I, I don't. I and I and I know that's, <laughs> you know, snooty. It is what it is. I don't. And the reason I'm that way is I feel like it is. In my opinion, highly irresponsible because you don't really know if you're going to be addicted or not. But so I, for me, I don't even want to take the chance to see. Well, it's just a little bit. Yeah, that's like saying uh, stick stick the tip in just a little bit. You can still get pregnant, but you're like that just did a little bit. <laughs> no, I just it's not my thing. I don't. Uh -uh. You can smoke weed. You can you know have a little alcohol like I do. But mm -mm, snorting some stuff up your nose, I'm going to go with no for me, Poppy. But I feel like so many, uh -oh. and this is an assumption, it's not literal, but I feel like so many men of high status do coke. Though. White men is what you're trying to say. Because a lot of mm -hmm. brothers ain't doing that. I know that. a little few black dudes that snore coke, man. Name, well, don't name them. But I, I got a feeling you don't know that many high society men, black men who doing coke. No, but you about I, to lie. I can don't tell me to shut up, but I can tell you to shut up because now you're lying. No, I just, I, I, oh my god, this chair is driving me nuts. So listen, people. Somebody. Uh, I think most to, uh, black men smoke weed. Yeah, cocaine. I'm gonna say they probably don't dabble in heroin. Oh, I'm no, gonna say yes, they probably so that, don't dabble in far. crack. They probably don't dabble in. And this is just my opinion. I do not have numbers and metrics and things like that. But I feel like 
most Black men, not all, because I don't like to paint everyone with one broad brush, but I think most Black men probably smoke a little weed. Oh, yeah. But cocaine, that's a hell of a drug. Just ask Rick James. I just, well, he I, did it. Yeah, but he dead now. <laughs> <laughs> and that's why black men don't do it. They're like, no, because that can kill you. <laughs> Weed ain't never killed nobody. Cocaine has. I won't go past cocaine, though. You do all that other stuff. Yeah, I don't know. I, I, Have I, you ever done cocaine? I've never done cocaine. I've never done. Don't I, say yes because you're being recorded. No, 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 no. I've never passed weed. I've never done anything. I will tell you this. When I was younger, I have a cousin who offered me cocaine and I never forgot it because I felt like that could have altered the entire path of my career. I I may have not had a career because it was in the presence of an older gentleman who could have traded me for sex and who knows what else, maybe a car or something. I don't know. Like a Pinto. I I don't mess with that. I was with a group of friends one time and they were all like putting money together to, to, to take some Molly. I'm like, I'm good. I was the only sober one the whole night. Tell you what, a friend of mine called me having gone out with a group of people and took some Molly and was terrified and wanted yeah. me to come and get it. No. Yeah. No, I'm not doing I'm that good. kind of stuff. But the point of my story earlier was I was a child and it was a gro- whole grown no, as adult it. family member who, uh, who offered me that in the presence of this other guy, which is who she got it from. That's and terrible. I thought it was terrible. It's like, oh my God, what if I had said yes? Because I'm a kid. I am I'm looking up to her because I admire right. her. I'm like, oh my God, had I taken that, I could have been hooked. That's sad. It is sad. It's very sad. But that's one of the reasons why I just I feel like cocaine, you just never know. You can go in and say it's really just to have a party and have a good time and fuck around and be lost. Or as they would say on the line, on on the internet, fuck around and find out. <laughs> Not me. No, Mm-mm. I'm good. I'm good on that too. I'm straight. Mm-mm. I, I will tell you this though. I dated a dude who was like, I will never do, you know, drugs and blah, blah, blah. Messed around and was with some of the others. I'm not going to say your name, but I'm saying very healthy dude, like was really into athletics, blah, blah, blah. And got with the others and did some cocaine recreationally and then got hooked on it. I think you're convincing me not to date anybody that. No, listen, do you? Pass weed. Pass weed. Let's do pass weed. Let's do pass weed. Put your future in the balance. That's you. Pass weed. Go on and do that. We could do some weed together. We could do some weed together. Selling ass on the corner trying to (laughs) get your husband out of debt. Never be. (laughs) (laughs) You're like, what's my TV? TV, baby, that's the least of your concerns. You need to be worried about something else. Costco got TVs all day. You can get another one. Uh, With your uh, self-respect, you cannot. <laughs> now we could... I mean, that's just me. I will say this, though. I, you know, I am interested in the whole weed industry. And I know that, I mean, I'm not a smoker. <laughs> Uh, and I don't do edibles. However, I'm open to it. And I do think that it is a, a great opportunity for black people to get into, even though they are trying with all of their might to keep us out. They don't understand. You can't stop blackness. <laughs> you can't. I don't care what you do. You cannot stop blackness. It will seep into every area. Yeah. Of, it just does. Yeah. It will. You need us. Yeah. I'm just trying. Thank you, Bella. <laughs> I'm just telling. So I'm thinking about it. I had a friend who hit me up and said that she was now somehow in the business okay. i'm just gonna check and make sure it's not a pyramid scheme we'll see <laughs> jasmine if you uh sign up six people this is where you'll be Mm-mm. no I, thank you <laughs> no thank you i used to yeah I, I've, I've fallen into some pyramid scheme uh not, not i haven't done it myself but i've i've gone to some meetings when I I've was never younger. fallen for a pyramid scheme. I've never gone to a meeting. But what I have done is sold fake knockoff perfume out of a cardboard box. <laughs> now, luckily, I was in college at the time, so don't hold it against me. But I'm so glad they don't do stuff like that anymore. It was so dangerous. What's the most dangerous thing that you've ever done? Ooh. I can't remember. <laughs> that many things? <laughs> I've done some dangerous shit. I've gone to Mexico with me and one of my girlfriends and left the property of a resort and went into town with some strangers right on the back of a bicycle. Yeah, that's pretty dangerous. What the hell? Yeah, I and I was sober. I, <laughs> <laughs> I hadn't even had a single drink. 
Imagine if you were drinking. Oh my God, no. It was so dangerous. Looking back on it now, I would never, ever, ever do that. Yeah, no. Meanwhile, I'm crit- being critical of you about dating a dude and putting your life in the balance who might sm- <laughs> sm- snort cocaine. And here I am on the back of the bike with Eduardo <laughs> and Pablo. in the Mexico City. Yeah. I don't know. I, we- I didn't speak Spanish. I didn't know where we were going, you know, but the girl I was with, you know, she was wide. That is crazy. And, you know, we were just living our best lives, hoping that we see tomorrow. Huh, we always oh, just terrible. Oh, it's so horrible. I'm happy because it would have been if something would have happened, there would be no me and you. <laughs> and on that note, the show is over. <laughs> 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 Cheers to that. I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs>